The first time homeowners encounter a bat in the basement, they usually assume it was a fluke and came through an open door or window. It's often only after they encounter more that they call me. Hi, I'm Benjamin Vaughn, and as a bat specialist in Ontario, I get many calls and emails from homeowners finding bats in their basement. Although a bat can show up anywhere inside your home, the basement is the most common place that homeowners find them. How bats end up there is actually quite interesting, and we're going to look at how they do it. The first thing you need to know is that the bats showing up inside your basement are big brown bats. Big brown bats live quietly in millions of Ontario homes. They enter and exit buildings high up and only need a tiny gap to squeeze into. They are quiet, nocturnal, and most of their colonies are quite small. Even though big browns enter and exit houses up high, they don't live in attics. They only pass through them and hang out there occasionally. They most often live in the interior walls of houses because attics are too hot in summer and too cold in winter. Big browns use openings beside plumbing pipes, chimneys, and partition walls to get out of the attic and into the walls. Once inside, they usually cannot get much further as their movements are limited by horizontal framing between the studs called blocking. However, home builders routinely route pipes, wires, and ducts between the studs of interior walls and cut or remove this blocking entirely. This can allow a bat to come all the way down a wall and into an unfinished space like your basement or furnace room. And unfinished basements and furnace rooms are the most common place where bats get out of the walls and into your living space. If your basement ceiling is unfinished, you can see gaps beside pipes, wires, and ducts that bats use to get out of the wall and into your basement. Once inside, bats easily can move from room to room just by crawling under doors. Bats can show up inside your basement any day of the year, but most do so during the hottest months, particularly July and August. This is when the populations are at their peak. This is also the time of year when curious young bats go exploring and end up inside basements. As the winter months approach, big browns will seek out a cool spot in the basement to begin hibernation, usually between the foundation and wall insulation. Most bats that show up in basements during winter appear after a big temperature change while moving to a different spot with the ideal temperature for hibernation. Ultimately, the only way to stop bats from showing up inside your basement is to completely bat-proof the exterior and humanely exclude them. That subject is covered in other videos. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to learn more, check out our other videos on our YouTube channel. However, if you've had enough bats in your basement and just want the problem fixed, call or email us, and that information can be found at our website, backcontrolspecialists.com.